If you're looking to switch careers into IT, then this is gonna be a perfect video for you. Yo, what's going on YouTube? My name is Zach Hill and this is IT Career Questions. The whole purpose of this channel is to help those of you who are looking to get into the information technology field. And one of the big questions that I always receive is, how do I switch from a specific career over to IT. Before we go any further, I wanna let you guys know that this video is proudly sponsored by Cybrary.it. If you guys are looking for IT training, I highly suggest you check out Cybrary. They offer free online video training in all areas IT related. Check out the link in the description below. Use the coupon code ITCQ50, get 50% off of your premium membership where you get access to their premium labs and their practice exams as well. Career changers. Whether you've been a diesel mechanic, a truck driver, you've worked in sales as a shoe salesman, as a car salesman, maybe you're going to be a lawyer or you're a political science major, maybe you're a financial advisor, maybe you guys have started off in the software application or web development area and you're just looking to make this transition in the IT. First and foremost, welcome to your future. IT is an amazing field to work in and the possibilities of working in this field are endless. There's plenty of room available for anybody to work in this field and anyone, anyone can do it. Anyone can work in this field if you put your mind to it and you learn and understand the technologies, which is a lot easier than you think it would be. So what advantages do you have as a career changer? And there's actually plenty. No matter what your background is, what career you have been in previously, just having experience working in general it actually does help. It really does. Because a lot of times you'll find, whether it was a lawyer, you're looking to be a lawyer, a political science major, you worked as a financial advisor, using those as examples, you've somehow worked with technology or technologies Maybe you worked with specific applications and you've understood them to a great detail. These are greatly helpful for you. However, you may have worked in a customer service related role and that is a huge benefit for you if you have because customer service and IT go hand in hand. And as you're looking to break into this field, having that experience will definitely help you. Of course, no matter what your background is, whatever your career is that you're moving and transitioning from, there are some applicable experiences and skills that you could utilize to or your advantage to moving into the IT field. So always be sure and pay attention to some of the things that we're mentioning in this video and things that we'll mention for other videos as well because these are key aspects that you're gonna wanna utilize to help you take advantage of your previous skills and experience. Now the first question I'm gonna answer because it's a huge one. It's gonna be one of the biggest ones that I get and hopefully I nip this in the butt. Do you need to go back to school to work in IT? Well, I have two questions for you. Do you currently have a degree? If you have a degree currently, then no, you don't necessarily have to go back to school. It doesn't matter if that degree is in political science or accounting. Just having a degree sometimes will meet many of the HR requirements in landing IT roles. Now, the next question is, do you wanna work in management? Do you wanna be a VP, a director? Do you wanna be a CTO, a CIO? If that is the role that you're looking to achieve, then 99% of the time, a degree is required for any type of management role. So the big thing here though is, do you need to have a degree period to work in IT? And you don't. There, there are plenty of jobs out there that you do not require a degree to work in this field. However, you will find that some jobs do require a degree. And you will find that some jobs require a degree specifically related to information technology. Now, as we said before, some jobs just don't require a degree at all, which is amazing. That's one huge benefit of working in IT. So make sure you pay attention to those job requirements. Now, if you wanna improve your chances of getting an IT job as you're changing careers, the number one thing that you can do is get an IT certification. There are plenty of IT certifications out there that will be greatly beneficial towards you, but just having one of these certifications that could take a month, two, three months to study for and then pass, that certification alone will show that you are dedicated to this field. It'll show that you have some knowledge within working in IT and it'll pass some of the HR requirements as well. But that certification alone is gonna be hugely beneficial to you. So make sure you guys pay attention. How do you get started? That's of course the biggest question. That's what this is all about. I just put out a video last week on how you get started in IT. And I strongly suggest that you guys go check out that video. I'll put a link in the description below because that video will definitely walk you through the steps of getting started in IT. And whether you're just getting started from that ground floor 
or a career changer, this video will speak volumes to you because I've laid out all the information within this video that you would need to know to step foot into the IT world. So again, welcome to your future. IT is amazing. I've worked in this field for over 16 years. I've enjoyed every single second of it. And I'm so thankful and glad that I've been given the opportunity to help you help others. And of course, work within technology as a whole. If you guys are looking to learn more, make sure you guys check out the link in the description for Cyberary. There's free video training. I highly recommend them. That's all I got for you guys in today's video. If you have any other comments, questions, concerns, make sure you guys hit me up in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. As always, take it easy.